today we're building a DIY solar panel ground mount. It's a simple two-part design, a wood platform and a metal frame made from aluminum rails. The system is strong, affordable, and something you can build in a weekend. I wanted my panels raised off the ground so I can mow the lawn around them and prevent vegetation from blocking the sun. But you can always keep it simple and just place them on the floor. The materials and tools I use for this build, the wood is six two by fours, each cut to 43.5 inches. I use six four by fours cut two feet long. These are for the legs. Also use two by fours, 12 feet long, four of them. And for the hardware, I mainly used three inch deck screws, a lot of them. And for the metal mounting kit, I bought them from eBay but you could also buy them from Amazon. They're made out of aluminum. They include the long rails for the solar panels and short rails for the angle adjustments. They also include the bolts, washers, wing nuts, and the black knobs for easy angle changes. You'll also need a drill and a saw and some wrenches. After cutting all the pieces, I started by laying the end pieces, lay them flat and line as best as possible. Helps to have a flat surface like this pad here. I use two screws to hold the pieces together. Now attach the 12 foot long two by fours using the same three inch screws. This is how the platform looks so far. After flipping it right side up, I reinforce the entire thing with more screws. I use about 10 screws per corners. I then moved the platform to its new location. That's the first mount I built. Same design as the one I'm building in this video. Each mount holds three panels for a total of six panels. I place concrete pieces to keep the wood from resting on the wet ground. This thing doesn't need to be perfectly level or anything like that. Man, these things are heavy. Each one is over 53 pounds. What's up with all these ants? The panels have four pre-drilled slots in the back. Use bolts and washers to attach them to the aluminum rails.
Install a second rail on the opposite side to secure the panel. Use the black knobs and wing nuts to secure the vertical rails. These make adjusting the tilt angle pretty easy. Now carefully flip the panel over and slide it into the platform. These things are so heavy at 53 pounds and so awkward to move around. Now that the panels are safely on the platform and aligned correctly, secure the horizontal rails to the platform using screws in the corners. Sometimes the wood can warp, so if you end up in this situation, just use a ratchet strap to correct the wood warping if needed. Insert the 43.5 inch 2x4 support for added strength, fastening with multiple screws. The idea here is to make sure that each rail lands on a 2x4 for more stability. I repeated the same process for the other two panels. Same thing. These mounts are both 12 feet long, so I added another set of legs in the middle. I simply put four screws on each 4x4 to secure them in place. This is what it looks like in the end. These are simple to build and not very expensive. All the materials, they cost around $312 for both mounts. This includes the wood, screws, and the metal mounts that I bought from eBay. Not a bad deal. I priced out building an all metal mounting system and it would be way out of my budget for panels this size. These are big panels. They are 440 watts, about 68 inches long by 45 inches wide. Panels this size, it's pretty expensive. I also thought about putting these panels on the roof of a small shop, but that would be a big task with the size of these panels. No way I could carry these up a ladder by myself. I also probably need permits if I mounted them on the roof of a structure. I gave this a lot of thought, and this is the best method for me at this time. So that's the finished system. Simple, affordable, and sturdy. I could probably build two of these in a day if I wasn't filming. In the next video, I'll connect this solar array to my DIY solar power station and put it to use. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. If this was helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe, and drop a comment if you have any questions.